Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be talking about horn antennas. So what do you mean by horn antennas? Well, let's find out. So first, let us start by understanding the structure of a horn antenna. So just like the name suggests, horn antenna. So you guys might have seen the air horns that are seen in your cars, which has got a particular funnel like shape. So similarly, this horn antenna in the case of antenna wave propagation looks exactly similar to that of a particular air horn or a horn device. So let us look into the structure of a horn antenna. So first, let us consider the following waveguide. So let us consider a waveguide like this. So this, let us consider this waveguide. So a waveguide is basically a structure that guides the electromagnetic radio waves in a particular direction by restricting the transmission in one particular direction. So therefore, this waveguide is used for the purpose of guiding the particular waves in a particular direction. So let us consider the following waveguide with the dimensions A and B. So now, the impedance value of a waveguide is given as 50 plus or minus 10 ohms. So here the impedance is given as 50 plus or minus 10 ohms. But the free space impedance, that is the impedance around this waveguide is given as 377 ohms. And therefore, we find a mismatch in the impedance between the waveguide and free space. And therefore, as there is a mismatch in the impedance value between the waveguide and the free space, the particular signals will not radiate from the waveguide onto the particular free space that is present outside the waveguide. So thus, for the purpose of radiating this signal, we have to provide a particular flaring at the end of this particular waveguide. So when we provide a particular flaring, it would look somewhat like this. So now here this particular flaring element is provided at the tip of this particular waveguide. So now when this flaring element is present, the particular impedance gets matched between the waveguide and the free space. Thus, this flaring element is responsible for the impedance matching between the impedance of the waveguide and the impedance of free space, thus resulting in the propagation or the radiation of that particular signal that was present inside the waveguide. As simple as that, guys. So that is the basic concept of horn antennas. So here now we can observe the fact that this looks like a particular horn, the horns that are seen in your cars. So hence, it is given the name horn antennas. So this flaring element is the main key here. So without this flaring element, this antenna would not radiate any kind of signal whatsoever. So that is because the impedance value is different between the impedance of the waveguide and the impedance of free space. And therefore, in order to provide impedance matching, we provide a flaring element and hence resulting in the matching of impedance between the waveguide and the outside free space, thus resulting in the radiation of signals. So as you guys can observe here, at the end or at the tip of this waveguide, the area, effective area of cross section is comparatively less, that is it is given as A into B. But when it comes outside of the flaring element, that is at this particular area, that is when we consider this particular area, then it is a comparatively larger area of cross section when compared to this particular area. So that is how this particular flaring element results in the matching of impedance between this waveguide value and between this free space impedance. So that is how impedance matching is obtained. So now when we observe this particular horn antenna from the side view, we can observe it to look like this. So if this is a side view, then this particular length L is referred to as the flaring length of this particular horn antenna. So this, so this length L is referred to as the flaring length of this particular horn antenna. And this particular angle that is theta e, this is referred to as the flaring angle with respect to the e plane, that is the electric field plane. And this particular small distance delta e is the flaring difference. 
this particular distance delta e is the e plane flaring difference so here l is the flaring length and theta e is the flaring angle with the e plane and delta e is the e plane flaring difference so these are the different parameters so now by taking considering this as a particular right angle triangle and by applying pythagoras theorem we get the value of the flaring length l as l is equal to a squared divided by 8 delta e this is the value of flaring length of this particular horn antenna so now here a horn antenna it is a type of an aperture antenna it is constructed by flaring of the waveguide just like we saw now so here it increases the directivity and improves impedance matching just like what we saw now okay so here because of all these this is used for long distance communications as it is a directional antenna that is this particular antenna it directs in a particular direction only and therefore it can be used for long distance communications so here what happens if the flaring element is not present well if the flaring element is not present then there is a mismatch between the impedance of the waveguide and free space and hence it does not radiate and therefore hence a flaring is provided to the waveguide for providing impedance matching thus radiating the particular signal that is why we need the particular flaring element so this does basically sums up what you mean by a particular horn antenna so now let us see what are the applications of horn antennas so here these are the three main applications of horn antennas it is used a lot in microwave engineering then it is used as a feed for parabolic reflectors and then it is also used in short range radars so this thus sums up what you mean by horn antennas so i hope you guys now have a clear idea as in what horn antennas are so we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you